I'm going to switch the four diamonds from my pocket. And I can tell you that in advance because I'm going to teach you how I do it. The four gets left in my pocket so that you can see it. We also need a card to switch it for. So remember the seven hearts. We'll leave the seven about halfway down in the center of the deck. And that's all the misdirection that I needed. You see, this card's no longer the four diamonds. It's actually seven hearts. Now let's learn how to do the switch. Surprise tutorial drop. Here in the UK, we've got some terrible weather this weekend because it's the tail end of Storm Ian coming all the way in from Florida. I hope my Florida brothers and sisters are all doing safe over there. I figured since a lot of people are going to be stuck indoors this weekend, I would drop a surprise video teaching you a move that I first put on my Instagram channel back in 2017, I want to say. So you can go to my Instagram and find that move. My Instagram channel is at Lloyd Barnes. But I'll keep it short, I'll keep it sweet. This is a fun switch of a single playing card that I figured you could practice over the weekend while we got some crummy weather. So, hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you at the end of the video. This is how it works. An X card, in this case, the Eight of Clubs, the card that's going to be switched, is placed off to the side. So in this case, we'll place it in my pocket, but you could place this in a spectator's palm or on a table. Now you need a card selected, so we'll choose the Jack of Hearts in this instance and we'll bury the Jack into the center. Although in reality that Jack is controlled to the top. You can use any card control you like. You can use any card you like. You could do a Marlowe Sadowitz slip to control it. You can do a slipstream control, but to the top and control it. Anything you like to get at the top. I'm using my Premier Control, which is based off Steve Drawn's Circle Control, which looks like it goes into the center, but it comes to the top. You can find that on my YouTube channel. Whenever you're ready, though, you want the deck in a position where you're going to be able to execute a slight move to the top card. But that move happens at the same time as something else. So this move is this. It's sort of like a Cardini change or the beginnings of a Pew's pass. And essentially you're holding the, the deck in mechanics grip with your index finger at the front, and the thumb at the side. And you're gonna mainly use your middle finger and ring finger in conjunction with your pinky to bring this card to the side, like opening a book. And you'll notice it doesn't just come up to the side like this, but it comes at an angle, okay? So it's at a slight angle, the deck. But this happens at the same time as something else. And that something else is you removing the X card. In this case, it's the eight of clubs. You're not going to show them this. What you're going to do is bring this to their attention. And you're almost going to use it like a shield to block the deck. Now, I know we're shooting this on camera, so you may feel like I'm using it to my advantage. But trust me. When you practice this in the real world in front of a mirror, you'll be able to tell that you just need to hold this card close to their eyes, or closer, closer to their face, and you'll create a lot of cover for this move to happen, okay? Now, I do it from the side, so I have the deck to the side. I bring this card up into focus, and I execute this, all right? You'll notice this card is at an angle, like I said. Now what's going to happen behind the scenes, from my point of view, and behind my hand, so I almost want to turn to my left, and from an exposed view, that's this direction. What's going to happen is I'm going to use my middle finger and thumb of my right hand to allow this card to meet in the top corner. Okay? So... From the above view, I'm bringing this card up. I'm sliding it under my thumb, and it's going to be pinched with my middle finger and thumb of my right hand. 
What's nice now is that I have a lot of cover with my right hand here. My right hand is going to do a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to covering this card. And I basically know that I'm good with their eyes because I use my knuckles and the back of my arm, my palm, pointed towards their line of sight and that gives me a good idea of my angles. So this card's here. I start to bring it up and under my fingers like this. So if I move the deck out of the way, it gets fed under the cards like that. And now I'll have my ring finger here. You can see the nail of my ring finger. That's going to allow this card, which is being switched in. So this is the queen. This is the eight. It's going to allow that card to hit my ring finger and that's going to keep the card square. Okay. So I'm using, if you see, I'm using my, the nail of my ring finger to push these two edges together. Okay. Like this. And my pointer finger is going to align the top edges too. And it seems quite difficult, but actually it's very, very easy to do. And once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to do it in, in milliseconds. But look, even if I place them quite disproportionately misaligned, I could just use my ring finger nail and my index finger pad of the tip of my finger. Just like that, I can pretty much find the sweet spot to square it up. So that happens like this from an exposed view. This card comes up and out, I get the focus. And then I begin to straighten. And the big tip here is that if you notice my pinky and uh, my ring finger, so this is my ring finger of my left hand, I don't just allow this to come away. I allow these cards to slide like this slowly until my ring finger is free of my left hand. So let me get two fresh cards. This will be the X card, the six of hearts. We'll use this as the selection. It'll go into the center, but secretly it's on top. As I bring up the X card, I'm now into position. Gets a line under my fingers and I'm now slowly moving my hand out of the way. And aligning everything with these two fingers. And eventually I can bring this card up and display. And if I want to, I can re-grip with my left hand with my ring and middle finger on the long side, my index finger at the top side, my thumb on the other left hand long side, and that keeps everything square. So from an exposed point of view, the move looks like this at speed. From the above point of view, it looks like this at speed. And from the performance point of view, it looks like this at speed. So we'll switch the King of Hearts for whatever card is on top. In this case, the Five of Diamonds. And that's the switch. Hope you all dug that. Like you can see, it's based off a few variations of different things, like a Pew's Pass, a Cardini change. There's some color changes that exist out there that are kind of like this. And it's all sort of melted into one to create this fun sort of move monkey style, angly sort of switch. I love playing with these types of things. They keep me inspired. They keep it fun. And when you get them just right, they can look very, very natural. So go off, have fun with it. If you haven't done so already, if you want to see way more free tutorials just like this, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. But until the next video, which is on Tutorial Tuesday, I will see you very, very soon.